Everybody, it's Friday morning. Just want to say, hey, hey, hey. You might do my Friday morning thing. Missed it last Friday because we were in uh, Nashville at a conference. But uh, anyway, here's Friday morning. Oh, pronouns, pronouns, pronouns. And I'm not talking about the uh, the pronouns for um, gender. I'm talking about just here, there, other where. Uh, really jacked me up this morning. I realized that uh, I need to be much more clear and how I communicate with people and I apologize and I will apologize again to the person that uh, got a little upset about this morning because they didn't understand what my pronouns meant it's all on me not them and I'll make it up to them I'll buy them a tool or something anyway there goes there goes my boy he actually he actually paid to have that sound Crazy, crazy. Anyway, uh, these people going by here today, my friends, my neighbors, my community, going about doing their thing today. Uh, Lord God Almighty, they need your interruption in the trajectory they may be on. Uh, let them see your hand and let them uh, feel your presence. And uh, let their day be abundant with good things and enjoyable things. And draw them close to you no matter what happens. So yeah, being clear in our communication is, is critical. When there's uh, interference in that communication pathway, whether it be verbal or written or an intent or just definitions, um, there can be some pretty nasty things happen. One of the things, Echo Stop. One of the things uh, happened this week is my brother Roger was going through some Bible passages and he wanted to know what a specific phrase meant. And uh, it's easy in Bible study to um, get bound up in the English translation. Um, but you always want to go back to the root. I always want to go back to the original language and see what that word actually meant or what that, that it could mean and how it's used elsewhere. Um, in philosophy, one of the first things you do when you write a paper or start a discussion is you lay down the ground rules. You say... Um, these are what these words mean, and they don't mean anything else for this discussion. And you agree on that, and then you go forward and you and you uh, have your discussion based upon those definitions. And that's really, really important. It's interesting how our body works the same way. If our brain is not clearly communicating with any other part of our body, just pick one, let's say liver, how can the liver do its job as well as it does? It can't. There's too much information the liver cells need, um, too many hormone triggers, too many chemical triggers, too many neurological triggers. All of them, by the way, are controlled by the brain. Um, telling the liver what to do, how to do, when to do, how much to do, how little to do, and in what order to do. And if uh, that nerve pathway is messed up, either at the brain stem or at the spinal cord or at the vagal nerve or at the hepatic nerve or whatever pathway the interference happens, um, it's just not a good thing. So you need to make sure that those pathways are clear, the communication is clear, definitions are clear. And when we're dealing with other people, um, other people from other cultures or different experiences, um, we'll have different definitions for the same word. So love, for one thing, has five or six different meanings. Um, some cultures, there's 20 different meanings. Um, other cultures, it just has one meaning. Um, so... You know, we just have to be careful that we understand who we're talking to and use understood vocabulary. And if there's any kind of confusion, then we set the ground rules and define our vocabulary. So there you go. That's my thoughts for the day. Uh, it's good to be back. Um, next weekend, we'll be in Augusta, Georgia for a fall conference, but I won't leave there until Friday afternoon. So I should do my Friday morning check-ins, and hopefully I'll be get back into doing more content. I've um, got some good encouragement this week about um, one of my companies. We're, we're intending to be more of an information company than a manufacturing firm. So very happy with that. We've got a lot of information to give out. We have a lot of instruction and content to um, give out, disseminate, produce, and uh, distribute. So looking forward to that. Anyway, check in with your chiropractor today. If you don't have a good one, let me know. I'll find you one. Love you guys. Bye-bye.